Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and fought against Asriel Dreamer, the son of Asgor and Toriel, and also Flowey, uh, he was revealed to be. And so, in today's episode, since we have beaten the final boss, it may seem like there's not much left to do. But, as I stated in the previous episode, there is a new line of dialogue for every single character in this game. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and talk to all of these different monsters and just, you know, see what dialogue there is. So, without further ado, I didn't even talk to these guys yet, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? Seeing how many good friends you've made here. I am almost certain that you have made some more. Alright, so I think each monster has three lines of dialogue, so let's go ahead and... Or three different... You have to talk to them three different times to get all of their dialogue, is what I meant to say. Oh hey, what's up, Frisk? We were just talking about you. Apparently you asked to call Tori Mom right after meeting her. Well, it was not right after. It took a couple of minutes. Frisk, I gotta tell ya. That's, uh... Not the best way to get to know someone. It's not? Papyrus, we've been over this. Whatever, Mom. Don't talk back to me like that. Go to your room, Papyrus. Okay, Undyne. Wait, don't actually go to your room. I'm getting mixed messages here. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working. I know, and it's, talk and it's taking all my concentration. Sorry, I don't have... yeah. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. It seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey, that's true. Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly. Not with that attitude. Frisk, take a hike. Hiking is good for your bones. So, Alfies, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. Heh, <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an anime? Oh my god, Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... Uh, with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? 
Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Hey, Alfies, Alfies, do you think we can watch something while, with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napstabook? Oh, and tell him I said hi, too. Psst, Frisk, um, you've got to tell me. Do you think Alagor and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Um... Well, as someone who has played the first two chapters to the sequel to this game, it seems like, even in alternate timelines, their marriage is destined to fail. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fanfiction. A lot of fanfiction. On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that, because I'm going to post it online. I sure am excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things on Dine and I can watch. Oh man, we're going to be able to watch anime online? Of course, Undyne. What do you think we've been fighting for all along? Yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx, I knew you were going to make that joke. Wait, Elfies, I didn't know you knew sa you knew Sans. Well, I... Doesn't everybody? Who the hell is Sans? Who the heck is Sans? Toriel? Hey, Frisk, why don't you go look for Metaton? He was here for a while, too. But he said he had to go somewhere. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Oh, Frisk, if you're not busy, on nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. So yeah, we've got all of the dialogue from them, and now we can go back through the entire underground and just whenever I see someone, I'll make sure to go ahead and talk to them. Uh, interesting thing is we can go ahead and call... Uh, well, first, if we try to call Papyrus and Undyne, no response, their phone batteries... Their phone might be out of batteries. Uh, and then Toriel's phone. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alfies are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? L-O-L. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. 
That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. So every time you go to a different room, you receive a new text from Toriel. So if we just walk back and forth, then we can go ahead and receive tons of text. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. So yeah, now each time we exit a room, I'll go, or each time we enter or exit a room, I'll be sure to go ahead and get a Toriel text message. Excuse me, I did not mean to write sincere. I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to say sincerely. It is difficult to use this with large hands. I know that much. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. Sans will be typing from now on. Hey Frisk, it's Toriel. I just baked one million pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. Coffin is empty? You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. I wonder what that is. I did not say any of that. <laughs> so now we're just going to be walking back through the underground and once the tutorial text messages are over, then I'll go ahead and just start talking about random things. Greetings. This is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually uh, know about these different text messages you get from Toriel, because she does say stuff, but I'm wondering if people, how many people just, like, talk to everyone, uh, talk to all of our main friends, like, once, and then left. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good and <laughs> Excuse me. Toriel sent you a message titled Cat Video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video she saw of a small white animal. There's no link or attachment to watch it. I wonder if using the elevator counts as leaving a room. Let me check. Yep. Forwards. S send this to someone you care about or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. Thought you might enjoy this. It's ASCII art of a snail. Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me what they that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you are lucky, you can have some. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL. P.S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like we were right on the money about Asgore and Toriel not getting back together. Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Now I'll go ahead and just walk back and forth here because uh, this is the part where we actually start talking to some monsters, so. Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. This is actually a funny bit that uh, it changes in the console version because if you're playing on PC, she says... Hey, I haven't seen you playing on the computer at all. You must be very healthy. But I think she says something about, you know, playing on video game consoles and stuff like that. So that's a funny little bit there. I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Torio. And then if we go ahead and call her again. 
not sent any new messages. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get to talking to some people over here. We have Burger Pants. Freedom. So we're free, huh? I forget what voice I did for him. I'll just do... I don't know. Metaton told us as much. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much. So we're free now. Does that mean my double date is cancelled? I know, it wasn't really a... a date. Here's the trick, little buddy. Lie to yourself all the time. It makes you feel better. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll all make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's, but it's as I say, nowhere to go but up, literally in this case. So we've got a resolution for him. I wonder how many people like that character. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. Oh, where does this go then? The elevator is in use. Ah, dang it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Yeah, all of these voices for these monsters are going to be completely different because I don't remember what voices I did for these guys. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Blub blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Well... Eh. So, if we're leaving, will my job... Ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple at its core, heh <laughs> heh. The surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. And are you still consuming the dew from the ficus? Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. You do you. Also, I just noticed that all of these tables are on wheels, like Metaton. Alright, so we just have Braddy and Caddy, and then we'll be going back to Hotland. Alright. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Oh, uh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just like joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, but bread is the best, cook a cat is the coolest. Um, no. We've like literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? Future. Hmm, now that we're gonna be free, oh gee, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But, Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Ah, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy. You like cats? Me? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're, like, so tasty. Freddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw the cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was like, there was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like, so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Kelly. Okay, yeah, Freddy? I think that was like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. Uh. So now comes 
with that comes the weird like debate about whether it's weird that like animals own like non-anthropomorphic animals and like cartoons and stuff like that I'm so excited to sell ice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be a modest success. Um, oh. And I told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Nice. We have Heat Flamesmen over here. What? Do you want a rematch? Hotline's gonna have a lot of stuff because it has multiple different sections. Uh, I think there's like a lion guy over here. Yep. Metaton, he recognized my voice when I called in and he he gave me his dress. I'm so... Haha. <laughs> That's nice. And then Muffet over here. Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all of the spiders inside the ruins, and we'll also be able to afford four pairs of stylish sunglasses for every spider. So while we're going through here, uh, recently there was the release of the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer. I probably don't need to save here. There's the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer, or not really trailer, but more of like a, I don't really know what to call it, but basically it was like a remake of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show theme song, which I thought was really cool. I was originally going to make a video on my second channel of like, like a sort of retrospective of like the original Super Mario Bros. Super Show, like those sort of videos that you've seen of people going back to like old shows from their childhood and talking about those but uh i don't know i just never got started with it i would like to go back and revisit those old episodes and talk to you guys about it uh left floor, floor three because we're on right floor three right now so we'll just go floor three to floor two then to floor one we have this guy over here did you ever get your money back on the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. And we just have that puzzle room again, so... Maybe there might be a couple of monsters at the tops and bottoms, because I think... There was, like... There were the spaceship puzzles, I believe. I remember when I actually went through those puzzles. Yeah, here you are. I've been thinking about getting a sick skateboard. On the surface, we'll be able to watch all kinds of TV, but I bet none of those shows are as good as Metatons. I remember, I guess I just put down in my notes wrong, like the walkthrough for that I was using for my notes was just, I guess, wrong, or I must, I probably put it in wrong. For those of you who don't know, uh, when I make videos, I basically write myself like a walkthrough to, you know, get through because I've already played through the games that I let's play before. So, I I'm thinking of going to the surface. Eh? You're going to go there too, idiot! Quit following me. Uh, because I'm heavily inspired by uh, YouTubers like Chugga Conroy, who like do a bunch of research before up some of the flowers who do a bunch of research when going into a game and like let's playing a game that they really really like as opposed to doing like a blind let's play and that's not to knock any creators who do blind let's plays i enjoy quite a few blind let's plays of various different games that i enjoy uh it's just that and i've tried to make a couple of videos like on my second channel that i never even posted of me trying to do like a blind let's play and it just wasn't that fun for me just you know not my style of videos i wanted another hot dog but the hot dog guy never came back besides that today was fine count your blessings even if you don't get a second hot dog toasty bun 
But yeah. Ah, human, you're leaving? I have something to say to you. Admittedly, I may have never... I may have had limerent feelings for you before, however, upon examining my own actions, I now realize I did not love you. I was merely infatuated with the concept of love, the idea of romance, the concept of sharing affection with another. Through these desires, I built a false conception of you in my head. Such a relationship would not have ended well. In closing, I believe it is better that I chose to say nothing. Y you idiot. <laughs> So yeah, I am so excited to do some of the Let's Plays that I have planned for this year, because I don't know if this Let's Play counts as, you know, a Let's Play, because... What am I trying to say? Uh-oh, uh I think I'm stuck in an infin infinite loop. Nope. I'm getting out of here as soon as possible. Uh... But I have so many Let's Plays planned for this year. I'm counting my next Let's Play that I'm doing as my first Let's Play of the year, because technically this Let's Play started last year. So, next Let's Play will be my first Let's Play of the year, which seems a bit late because it's probably going to start in early March. But, you know, I took a break in the middle of this Let's Play, uh, just because, you know, I had a lot going on. I had, you know, school that I had to get done, and uh, now that I'm sort of, you know doing fine with that I'm I have a bit more time to start doing more videos so hopefully I'll be able to make more videos more often uh, so my my first let's play of the year that I'm gonna do is a game that I started playing last year I, I started playing and finished playing it last year and it was written by someone who had created another series that I really enjoy and I was like, okay, so I'll probably like this, and let me go ahead and just... Ha 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 ha, wonder if any humans would want to be my friend. Psych, that never happened. But yeah, I started playing it last year, and I was just infatuated by the game. Is that the right word? I was... I fell in love with the game, basically, and I was just so... Like, I was constantly waiting, like... I can't wait when I next get to play this game, and so I'm finally going to get to play it on my channel, and that's going to be awesome. I'm not sure if I'm the best at wording things correctly, because I'm just trying to fill as much time as I possibly can while I'm walking through here. But basically, yeah, I love this game. It's going to be getting a sort of remaster that's coming up really soon, which is perfect timing, because I had planned this Let's Play before that was even announced, and now that it's getting a remaster that's coming out, I forget, like, sometime in the middle of this year, I am super excited to finally get to, you know, play through this game on the channel, and hopefully it introduces at least, like, one person to the series, because this game is... It didn't sell well, and it deserves a lot more love. I mean, I feel like more recently it started getting a lot of more people saying that they really liked it, and I've been seeing cool, like, fan art and stuff like that. Uh, but it's just one of those games where I wish it had a much, much wider community, because when I was doing, like, research and looking into this game a lot more online, I looked at, like, the fan wiki to see if they had in any information, and, like, it was... there was barely anything on it. So hopefully this remaster introduces tons of people to this game. Maybe we'll get a sequel? I don't know. I don't know if this game has much potential for a sequel. I mean, I guess technically. I don't know. Hey, River Person, we'll probably be able to talk to them in just a bit. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Uh, I believe if you, like take a cup of water and like pour it out a bunch like over here yeah I think if you do this when you first run into the water cooler and you like completely empty it out then it'll I think a tree will grow here 
Let me go ahead and just skip through this real quick so till I empty it. Hey, there it is. There's the tree. I don't know how there's... Okay, there's no more water left in the cooler. Okay. So, I guess that's just there now. I probably... I, I forgot to do that when I came by here originally. So, I don't, unfortunately, we won't be able to see that. But I'm sure there's videos and pictures of it online, so... But yeah... In the future, I want to start Let's Playing a lot more DS games, because I love DS games. There are tons that I want to play on the channel, and it's kind of hard to... What the heck are you? Gah, who are you? Freedom. What? Bah, you're pulling my leg. Look like an off-brand Goomba. And what is this? It's a box, presumably to be pushed. What? Let me know if there's... Anything behind this that I'm just not getting? I don't know if that's just like left behind stuff that like was planned to be in the game but didn't really have any purpose, so that was just put in there. Is there any. Okay, so that dialogue doesn't change. But yeah, there are tons of DS games that I want to play, and it's interesting because I'm trying to figure out how. Um, how exactly I want to go about it with DS games because for my Phoenix Wright Let's Play, I had like the big screen and then the smaller screen off to the side. And that's fine, but I'm wondering if that sort of creates like a weird, and maybe I'm just overthinking this, but it, I'm wondering if that creates a sort of weird viewing experience for people watching at home because, you know, it's a bit weird to have like the main screen off to the side and all that. Uh, let me go ahead and go to Temi Village and see if there's anything changed there. We unfortunately didn't get to pay for Temi's college, but she just leaves and then comes back with something called Temi armor, which gets progressively less expensive if you die more. Uh, where's the entrance? Or is it not here? Must not be here, must be in the other screen. Uh, but yeah, you get uh, Temi armor that gets progressively less expensive the more often you die, and then I forget exactly how useful it is. I might have said this before. Uh, but yeah, back to DS games. I'm wondering if it creates a weird viewing experience for people at home just because it's weird having the main screen be off to the side with a side screen and a bit of empty space. So I'm wondering if when I do videos like that uh, with DS games, if I should have it be so you just mostly see the top screen and then you only see the bottom screen whenever it's necessary. Uh, Whoa, Tim here news. Very goods. I forget how I voice these characters. Whoa, Tim here news. Very goods. Yeah, yeah, Tim's can go free. A pleasing development, no? <laughs> Whoa, if Tim's can go on surface, can see lots of cute human. Everyone goes free, but Tem, Tem not leave. Tem watch egg. Tem will be happily, happily family. It's hard boiled. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they were willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. Oives! She's waiting for someone to let her out. Statue of Tem. Very famous, very. Oi! Welcome to the Tem shop! Uh, and none of this has changed, so we'll go ahead and just leave. I think Temmy is the only shop owner who doesn't change her dialogue during the true ending. But yeah, I'm thinking with DS games that I have the top screen or whatever screen is most important be the only one like visible in the center of the screen like you're watching like as if you're watching a game with 
that is on like a 4x3 screen and then whenever the bottom screen is necessary I change it somehow so that it shows what's happening on the bottom screen or the less important screen I should say because there are some DS games that have the bottom screen be the most important one and the top screen be the least important. Uh, so we have uh, Gerson here and we want to go ahead and talk to him about uh, well first we want to talk to him about uh, Asgore's nickname, Fluffy Buns. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was a mo monthly address at the castle, and the queen was given her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing, laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Bunge, and the rest is history. Is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower patterned Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them Bosch Monsters. When I have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's stuck at the same age, probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was the queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy tiny teensy bit relieving, you know. Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Undying. She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days, cursing the hammer of justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. So most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> so that's nice, a little bit of backstory and some explanation on how, like, boss monsters age i'll get i'll talk to the river person like one final time once we've moved past all this although i might need the river person in order to go back to snowden uh how are the snails doing it's a snail you wonder if toriel has seen it snail 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 you reach the end of your extensive journey snail snail what a long trip remember to stretch your muscles that was a horrible French accent. The housing market will probably crash now, but you know, home is where the heart is. Using its money, the snail bought a hat. I wish I could see it, but yeah. Got the three snails over there. I remember back in the day when we came by here first and I accidentally got the best prize first try. Hey, Metaton. There you are, Friska darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alfie's completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, -hoo. and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer, and Bl Napster Blue here will be my sound mixer. Mixer, there's three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? What? Undyne says hi, then tell her I say something cool. Human, I'll never forget when you cheered me on, when I was pretending to sleep. No one ever ever done had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? 
Everyone else seems to know it now except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay. I won't forget it. So yeah, Napstabluke was so antisocial that he avoided the end of the world. Also, in case it wasn't obvious, we have Napstabluke standing in front of the blue house, which is their house, and then Metaton standing in front of the uh, red house, which is his house. So, yeah. Then right over here. So, you helped us get all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Uh, interesting thing about this dummy is that, uh, sounds like only fire lives here now, okay. So, interesting thing about this dummy is that in the PC version, he's just kind of here in the ending. But in the, uh, console versions, I think specifically the Nintendo Switch version and maybe the Xbox version, uh, the dummy goes on to possess the doll inside of Papyrus's sink, if you'll remember from way back then, when I talked about how weird Papyrus's sink was and how it kept changing in between versions. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and... Let me check down here to see if there's anything. There's probably not, it's probably just all garbage, but just in case there's for some reason one monster down here. Then I want to go ahead and check that out. Oh, hey, it's Washua. Don't drag your dirty feet in here. I just cleaned this trash. Alrighty. Uh, but back on the topic of, like, recording DS games, there's one specific DS game that I want to make videos on either this year or next year that kind of requires... It, it, I'm not kinda, it does require you to have all, both screens visible at all times. And it would be probably best for me to record it, like, it would probably be best for me to record, uh, the, the DS vertically, like, top screen on the top, bottom screen on the bottom, except for, instead of, like, how I recorded it previously, where it's side by side. And... That's making me wonder how, if I should do it like that, because it adds a slight bit to the narrative and, you know, makes explaining something. I'm trying to say this without spoiling anything. We could go and see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. Uh, nothing up here. Uh, and so when that Let's Play comes around, I'll ask you guys if you would prefer... The DS, like when I record the DS, if you would prefer it be in, I wonder if this, seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. I think you can go to all the various different, um, all of the different, uh, mouse gags with the cheese on the tables and see that the mouse has freed the, has gotten to the cheese somewhat. And so I think I missed one back in Hotland, but I... Uh, I'm already doing a bunch of stuff this episode. I mean, the recording for this video, I don't know if I'll edit it down, but it's currently 46 minutes long, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. I'm This will probably be, like, over an hour long just in recording. Maybe I'll try to edit it down a bit. Maybe I won't. Depends on how much I talk in between talking to various different characters. I'll cut out different parts of silence, but this is going to be a really long finale. You know, I just got an idea. I, sh I should probably... I don't know why I would do this, but maybe I'll, like, write down somewhere all of my Let's Plays in terms of runtime from longest to shortest. I feel like Ace Attorney will definitely be the highest one, because I know that's 14 hours long. And although this one is pretty long so far, I feel like it won't be the longest one so far. I think this will probably come out to around, like, 9 hours or so. Let's see. But yeah, I'm completely jumping around from topic to topic, but you know what? That's just how I operate. Uh, 
back to the DS thing, I know when I get to that Let's Play, I'll ask if you'd prefer it to be vertical, you know, top screen, bottom screen, like how it is on an actual DS, or if you would prefer it to, if you would prefer to, to it to be like top screen on the left, bottom screen on the right, like how I did for Ace Attorney. I probably will have both screens like the same size, unlike Ace Attorney, but yeah, I'll just ask if you prefer vertical because it's like best for, you know, explaining stuff. I really trying my hardest not to spoil stuff or if you'd prefer it horizontal because it's the better viewing experience. This is the Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. I wonder if... All of it gives my... Okay, so this guy is the exact same. And he says, never trust a flower. Yep. So I've done some counting for my future Let's Plays, and I'm probably going to either at the end of this year or the beginning of the next year, I'm going to hit Let's Play number 20. Which I'm super excited about. I'm interested to see... I wonder what my 20th Let's Play will be, because I'm not entirely sure what it will be yet. Also, we have... Having an amorphous Shamblin family member... Having an amorphous Shamblin family member is great. They are always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Oh. Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Ah! The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. Oh my, there's so... I don't know why I'm doing Metaton's voice. Oh my, there's so much news to report I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big the end in front of it and call it a day? I wonder... What would a newspaper do if they had, like, a last newspaper? Ice Wolf no... Ice... Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. <laughs> Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call them humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Wooha! This adventure is spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. <laughs> oh, we're free. Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. So they kind of switched places. Grillbees. I wonder if the overworld has hot guys and, m and neat d d drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom too. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except for all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. What does that mean? Good job. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a Winnie, Winnie of Dismay. I feel like that's a reference to something in this game, but I forget. It finally won a game of poker against itself. Hooray! 
I heard Dr. Ralphie's told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know that so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Yo, what's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> so Papyrus does have a, like a fan club now. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. That kid over there told me that it's weird I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Uh. Uh. Is anyone else weird about weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates, uh? I feel like I'm just doing the same voices over and over, but... You know what? It's tiring coming up with new voices. Hello! Sorry, no time for a nap. Snowed Inn is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Mom said that we could go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. I'm surprised we're actually getting pretty close to the end here. Hello, Traveler! How can I help you? What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. Human. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Did you hear? The runes have been opened up. And get this. They were open from the inside. Apparently, the queen had been staying inside there for God knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I haven't planned much more than, than that, I'm afraid. Oh. Bye now. Come again sometime. Just kind of gave her a more polite, lot of heart voice. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? I... Uh... <laughs> oh, there's a uh, gift trot. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. And is the person still down there in the tiny little house? Yeah, there they are. So yeah, I have no idea how to access this thing, but uh, I'll be sure to flash up on screen how I access that, and then, then you guys will know. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. Wait. <laughs> so, recently I've been playing through the original Persona from... Oh. We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Is the dog over here? No, I guess we'll have to keep going. Or Yeah, lesser dog is probably around here somewhere. But I've been playing through the original... I keep inter interrupting myself. Yeah, guess we'll have to go through the surface. Go to the surface. These are... These, there are woods there we can live in, right? I've been playing through the original Persona from 1996. Well, not the original Persona. Uh, but the remake on uh, PSP. And... Yeah, it's alright from what I've been playing so far. I'm interested in where the story's gonna go. Uh, I haven't gotten too far in yet. I'm only about six hours in, and then, you know, maybe if I like it enough, I'll play it on here. Huh, after all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? <laughs> but yeah, I've been playing through Persona 1 and then watching a Let's Play of Persona 5, and I enjoy the series from what I've seen so far. Uh, around here... 
I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers, like 20 teen. <laughs> I feel like the fear of getting older is a fear that pretty much everyone has. Especially me, like... I don't know if existential crisis is the word. That feels way too dramatic. But I've definitely had some anxiety about kind of getting older and watching life just kind of pass me by, you know? Oh, I could feel that piece of me has been taken, has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barriers opened up? Hmm, then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Alrighty, so it seems like Sans said, we really did make a snowman happy today. The doctor, he brought my, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. No, he... Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Cause, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. <laughs> uh, right up here we have the fishing line. It says, it's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to the end is a note. Never mind, guys. <laughs> It's a really good, like, setup because we saw the fishing rod guy back in, uh, Grillby's. Now we have the really long walk back to the ruins. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Alright, back in the ruins here. Uh, so this will be the last place we visit, and then we'll go ahead and leave the underground. It's always surreal whenever a series ends because, you know... I can say a bunch of basic stuff about how it feels like the series just started yesterday. But it really does just feel like that. I feel... I don't know, it just feels like it should have lasted, like, months longer than it did. Uh, it's probably best that it didn't last a bunch of months, months longer, because that would have sucked. Uh, I mean, I love this game, but I think it's like, semi-short run time is really, you know, it really complements the game well. Still just you, Frisk. Ah. Room under renovations. And then do we say anything when we go into our room? What if I lay down? Felt strange to lie in the bed. Feels entirely too small for you now. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually know that it did that. But yeah, we both, you know, metaphorically and physically do grew during our journey. Even though our journey canonically only lasted like a day. Don't think about it too much. Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier's open too. Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? We have this nice view of the city. Okay, I know it's probably just like a thing, don't really think about it, but like, there's this whole city that stretches off and into like the way back distance, even though the ruins is only like a couple hundred feet long this way. But yeah, let's just not think about it. Do you think since uh, we go down into the basement to leave out to Snowden that technically, like, that city that we saw is, like, above the rest of the underground that we see, or at least above Snowden? Or maybe I'm just thinking about the perspective weirdly. I don't know. Is there anything if I drop down here? Alrighty, nothing here, so let's go ahead and just keep heading left. Just a few more rooms and then... We'll be done with this game. Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time we should try a relaxing shade of green. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? There's an ant-sized frog in the crack of the wall. It waves at you. 
Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me, since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? I mean, I didn't skip through your dialogue the first time, but... You know what? Once again, don't think about it. <laughs> Looks like che the cheese is a nibble taken out of it. Do you have anything to say, Rock? The exit's open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, Pumpkin? Ah, uh, we can't push him. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscious, conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. I recently got out of watching, uh... I recently watched uh, Ant-Man and the Lost Quantum Mania. And, you know, it's not the best movie in the world, but I enjoyed it. You know? Like a solid, like... 7 or 8 out of 10, somewhere in that range. Now, unless I'm mistaken, we've got one final person to, that we need to talk to. Alright, doing things a bit out of order here, but before we talk to the last person that, we, that we're that we going to talk to, I want to go ahead and talk to the river person. Uh, okay, for a ride. Our last river person conversation. Let's go to Hotland. Then we're off. Please don't be a repeat. Tra la la, if it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Ah. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and see River Person's dialogue first because I feel like it's more fitting if we talk to the last person that I'm going to talk to last. So let's go ahead and cut to that. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Epot are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it... Because you... Well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Karak climbed the mountain. It wasn't for, for a very happy reason. Frisk... I'll be honest with you, Kara hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it, but they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Kara. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Kara wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the, the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Kara and I combined our souls together, the control over our bodies was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to to use our full power. I was the one that resisted, and then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I stopped that horrible view of... That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have we would have, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. 
Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. Not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see ya. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? And that's all he has left to say. And we're here. It's time to finally say goodbye to the underground and return to the surface once and for all. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's see the ending. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Oh my! Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it, it's even better than on TV! Way better! Better than I even, even imagined! Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh, I really feel alive! Hey, Sands! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, uh, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier... None of this would have happened. It is a good thing that it, it that you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right, now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. And that was Undertale. Such an amazing game, man. Like, there is just so much about the game that I like. And I'll get to that in a second, but right now we're currently seeing sort of like the credits for all of the different monsters throughout the games. And 
I got all of the yellow text right there. If you spare them the correct way, then you get that. And now it just tells you, you know, all of the different monsters eventually got to live out happy lives, which I just think is the perfect ending. We also get these cutscenes for the main characters. Uh, get We see them getting to be real happy, like Papyrus finally getting to ride around in a car. Sans is being Sans. But yeah, I'm just going to take these next couple of minutes to gush about the game real quick. It is such amazing everything music uh you know graphics and i say that because like i love the look of classic games like from you know the nes sort of era to like the n64 ps1 sort of era i love the way that those games look i know that they're outdated quote unquote but i don't know it's just my brain doesn't really have a problem with you know old graphics and stuff like that and the characters, man, each of these characters are just very well written, very well made. And you can see why this game blew up the way that it did back in, you know, late 2015, early 2016. Just because it has such a way of gripping you. And I'm not even talking about some of the things that I love about the game the most that I can't really talk about because of spoilers. The No Mercy route, or as fans call it, the Genocide route is like I've never like beaten it myself but I've watched let's plays on it and they just like tear out your heart and rip it to pieces and make you feel so bad and it's really good at doing that and yeah this game is just incredible at making you feel emotions when they want you to there's also the fact that like sometimes the game will you know catch you if you like reset to try to change stuff, the game will be like, hey, I know what you did. Uh, you know, I linked to that video, I linked to a video in a previous episode called Undertale Remembers. Very good video, documents a bunch of different stuff in Undertale that remembers when you did stuff. I'll go ahead and link to that video in the description again. But yeah, you can just tell that there was tons of love and passion put into this project because it's just incredible. So I'd highly suggest buying the game. I think it's like 10 or $15 on Steam and also supporting the sort of pseudo sequel. It's like sort of in an alternate universe, uh, Deltarune, uh, which from what I've played is also a really, really good game. And I just cannot wait for the full game to come out uh, sometime in the hopefully near future. But yeah, this has been Undertale, an incredibly put together game that I am just so glad that I was able to let's play for you guys here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. If you thought that the credits weren't going to be creative and incredibly well put together and something incredibly fun, you were wrong. It's sort of like a an extra bullet hell at the end where... You gotta try your best to dodge all of the different names, and, you know, I messed up there, but this is the thing that I was talking about earlier, how you need to do this to access that one door in the Snowden Forest, where if you dodge all of the names here, and then you start a new save file, go to that door, and then walk around a bit, you get into a random encounter, and then after you beat that random encounter, then you can go inside the door and see various stuff. You can look that up for yourself. But yeah, they even made the end credits fun. Uh, I don't really have the patience to play through the 
play through the entire game over and over again just so I can, you know, try to get better at the credits. Uh, so I won't be able to show off some of that stuff. But yeah, just a fun ending to a fun game. I highly recommend you go check it out. And yeah, I'll say once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been fun to, you know, get this project out there. I see that a lot of you guys have been liking this Let's Play. And I'm glad you guys did. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys for my next Let's Play. Bye-bye!